गाइस हाउ आर यू आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल सो फ्रेंड्स एज यू नो दैट ऑन आवर चैनल वी आर टारगेटिंग द एग्जाम ऑफ सिविल सर्विसेज एंड फॉर दैट पर्पस वी हैव स्टार्टेड मल्टीपल सीरीज ऑन आवर चैनल दैट टारगेट योर प्रॉब्लम्स एज वेल एज मेंस सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट आवर सीरीज इन व्हिच व्हाट वी डू वी डेली डिस्कस सम क्वेश्चंस रिलेटिंग टू योर प्रॉब्लम्स दैट इज कमिंग इन 2020 uh uh so uh, the name of this series is let's solve some questions for prelims 2020 so as is clear from its name so this series is all, is not just about discussing questions it is uh, it is also about your participation in them so we expect that you uh, you people participate uh, participate in it and uh, do ensure that you comment in the comment box if you have any additional information uh, uh, uh apart from the one that is given by us in the video so let's see what are the questions we are going to solve today so we are going to solve today questions from indian polity Uh, so the first question is in a multicultural democracy which of the following are generally in strain a national rights versus minority rights b socio economic rights versus constitutional rights c political rights versus sovereignty d populism versus political rights so friends uh, uh, this is a quite easy question you might be aware of the fact that obviously india is a multicultural democracy and often uh, uh, in news uh, uh, such type of things uh, uh, keep coming so this answer for it is national rights versus minority rights because uh, uh, national rights in the sense that um, the majority community uh, uh, th there is always a strain uh, uh, to some extent in majority and minority uh, community so that's why this uh, issue of national rights versus minority rights often come up so often it ra it uh, it 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 is generally in strain so uh, obviously this b can't be the answer because uh, socio economic rights uh, are the in itself in uh, uh, there are in fact if we take uh, the example of indian constitution then constitutional rights are also to some extent uh, uh, socio economic rights because various social and economic uh, related rights have been conferred upon indian citizens um, uh, in the indian constitution itself so c can also be cannot be the answer because why uh, so political rights and versus sovereignty can't take place because sovereignty in itself is a uh, means independence and freedom so unless and until you don't have freedom how can you exercise political rights so obviously c would it's not the answer and then comes your populism versus political rights so obviously uh, if there is a populism taking place in a country then uh, it 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 will compromise the long term development goals so obviously your political rights will be curtailed in that to that extent or they may be um uh, we can say to it, they may not be exercised uh, in uh, in full potential to to that extent so that's why d is also not the answer so this is the explanation so all these things i have explained to you in detail so that's that's the uh, uh, if i say if you allow me to say that that's the uniqueness of our series we not just give you the answer of the question but also discuss the options that are uh, that are incorrect and also why they are incorrect now let's move on to the next question next is which of the following in the constitution has have a bearing on the welfare of the old and disabled first directive principles of state policy second fourth schedule third seventh schedule fourth eleventh schedule so we have to uh, choose the uh, correct answer so let me tell you friends that fourth uh, uh, fourth schedule uh, that is second uh, uh, point cannot be uh, cannot be the answer because uh, uh, fourth schedule is relating to the uh, allocation of seats of uh, uh, of states in rajya sabha so uh, apart from it all these 1 3 and 4 are uh, correct so the answer is c so why first because directive principles of state policy uh, if you might be quite well aware of it article 41 specifically mentions about the welfare that has to be taken and then seventh schedule there are uh, there is state list in which uh, various welfare uh, measures have been mentioned various, various welfare powers of the state government uh, has been uh, have been enumerated and then there is also 11th schedule your 11th schedule is relating to uh, Uh, the uh, the powers that are to be given to panchayati raj institutions so in that case the panchayati raj institutions exercise a quite degree of power uh, in doing the welfare of the citizens uh, so the answer is c so you can check uh, so uh, health and sanitation including hospitals as well as primary health, health centers dispensaries and family welfare and women and child development so all these things are there in uh, 11th schedule so if you consider uh, the, the state list then state list uh, in in state list there is a uh, there is a uh, there, there is specifically an entry called relief of the disabled and unemployable and then also uh, in dpsp's article 41 is there which uh, 
टॉक्स अबाउट डूइंग वेलफेयर ऑफ ओल्ड एज बेसिकली इट आज द स्टेट्स स्टेट दैट इट शेल Uh, within the limits of its economic capacity and development will make effective provisions for securing the right to work to education and to public assistance in case of uh, un, uh, unemployment old age sickness or disablement so uh, this is about your second question now let's move to the next question next is we consider the following statements with reference to rules of procedure and conduct of business in lok sabha first the annual budget shall be presented to the house on such day as a presiding officer of the house may direct second the budget shall be presented to the house in such form as the estimates committee decides that there shall be no discussion of the budget on the day on which it is presented to the uh, pre presented to the house so we have to choose that which of these is correct let me tell you friends that first of first is not correct it is not presiding officer but rather it is a president of india that decides that uh, when and when uh, on which day the annual budget is to be presented to the house so second is also not correct uh, budget is uh, uh, presented uh, uh uh to to uh, to the house in a form in the form the finance minister decides so uh, estimates committee may give inputs but uh, but it is not the just sole discretion of estimates estimates committee in fact it is the discretion of uh, the 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 we can say uh, finance minister so the answer is uh, third only b that is third only so uh, more details you can read obviously we have uh, discussed a lot about it so uh, discussion will take place basically on that day on which the speaker allocate um, uh, to uh, on that day on which speaker uh, uh, deci decides so speaker may say that on that particular day we will be discussing this budget and he will uh, load a number of days as well so in that case uh, uh, the however house shall be at uh, uh, the house shall be at liberty to discuss the budget as a whole or any question at that time of principal involved therein but no motion shall be, shall be moved uh, or nor shall the budget be submitted to the vote of the house so finance minister shall have a right uh, have a general right of uh, reply at the end of the discussion so this is about your third question and next is fourth question uh, fourth question is some bills require the prior permission consent recommendation of the president to be introduced however such recommendations are not uh, are not required in which of the following legislative cases a for changing the official language of the parliament uh, b for alteration of areas of the existing states see uh, making provision for reduction of uh, or, or abolition of any tax the all the above cases pri uh, uh, prior to uh, uh, all the above cases require prior presidential assent so we have to choose that which of these is correct um uh, which is which of the these is uh, in which of the case not the recommendation of president is required so uh, a is correct uh, a is uh, a is uh, a is the case in which uh, the 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 prior consent of the president is not required prior recommendation is not required uh, obviously for alteration of areas of existing states uh, uh, this uh, this is uh, needed and then uh, making provision for the reduction of a uh, reduction for the or abolition of any tax also requires all the above cases uh, so a is uh, the answer so now let's move to the next question uh next is which of the following is not a part of the model code of conduct uh, for the guidance of political parties and candidates formulated by the election commission of india so uh, no political party can criticize the other political party or its candidates after the notification of the election schedule uh, we, there shall be no appeal uh, to caste or communal feelings Uh, for securing votes see the minister shall not use government uh, resources for furthering uh, the interest of their political uh, party solely and then uh, issue of advertisement uh, at the cost of public exchequer and media to further the interest of a particular political party should be avoided during election so here we have been asked that which of the following is not part of the model code of conduct so friends a is not the part because uh, uh, simple thing is that uh, uh, political parties do uh, do criticize uh, after the implementation of model of code of conduct uh, what the political parties can't do is that defamation or uh, uh, personal criticism of any political person because uh, uh, that that would be kind of a defamation considered uh, so a is not the con uh, case in which this is required so uh, so let's see the explanation is here so state ministry ministry can't be utilized so uh, for uh, for for election electioneering purposes so more details you can read by pausing the video uh, so this is all about friends today's discussion so if you have scored five uh, 
five out of uh, three four uh, uh, questions uh, uh, marks then suddenly uh, you are on a good track but if you uh, you have you haven't scored more than two or you haven't scored even single mark then don't worry uh, they, that is too good because you have seen the video today and you have learned something you have learned five questions which uh, to which you were not uh, uh, you were contented with uh, earlier so uh, that is good thing so uh, see everything in a uh, in a in a uh, we can say positive perspective so optimistic perspective so this is all about today's discussion so friends uh, if in case you are interested in in, in our series that we have uh, that is uh, we have an indian quality series of m lakshmi kant in we in which we are covering your entire m lakshmi kant uh, book in just rupees 249 and uh, uh, how will this work you will be daily given a target uh, to the read in the evening you will get 10 mcqs from that target so entire book will be covered in 60 days so in this way uh, you will be getting 600 mcqs uh, based upon the book at the end of the day so single magazine will be shared on 60th day with, which will be compilation of all uh, 450 uh, sorry here is a typing mistake uh, which will be compilation of 600 based uh, book based mcqs uh, so how it will benefit you uh every year questions obviously friends you might be aware of the fact that 15 to 25 questions are asked in prelims and 8 to 10 questions are asked in mains from this uh, this part of your syllabus so this uh, uh, series will also ensure that your uh, book, entire book is covered through mcq mode and also this will ensure discipline in your studies because lot of students today prepare for mom and they lack self discipline in their studies because uh, uh, uh they they don't have a kind of time framework in which they have to complete the syllabus and they keep on posting things so that is a problem so that thing is will also be solved because you will have daily targets which will you will have to prepare and which uh, um, based on which you will get questions in the evening and also problem of revising the uh, book will also be solved because 600 mcqs will be covered and 600 mcqs will be such that all important topics will be covered and explanations will be much comprehensive so this will ensure uh, complete coverage of your book and especially from your prelims point of view um, because facts will become more clear clearer and clearer to you as you as you will keep on revising that uh, that document of single uh, that single document of 600 mcqs and uh, then also you might be aware of the fact that this book is recommended as the standard book for by by almost all the toppers uh, uh, i hardly know anybody who says that lakshmi kant is a waste of time uh, i haven't seen uh, in my uh, uh, in my experience of 4 to 5 years i haven't seen even a, a single person saying this uh, that lakshmi kant is not relevant and then mere reading is not enough you must also know how the questions are framed in upsc uh, and this idea only comes when you solve mcqs because the uh, because reading is what everybody is doing a person interested in indian politics will also be re uh, reading polity so uh, he might also be um, uh, reading some uh, some things related to constitution but that doesn't mean uh, uh, that uh, he will be uh, able to give upsc because uh, uh, in in, the, in in it you have to prepare according to uh, according to the demand of the exam so in that case my reading is not enough you must you must uh, you are required to practice the mcqs and then also as disciplined preparation gives you much needed self confidence uh, so that that thing of daily dealing the things or posting uh, pro procrastinating the things uh, will will uh, will not uh, will not uh, will not be there and also then now is the best time to start because problems is six months away just so what are you waiting for i don't know if you are waiting for anything uh, so if in case you are interested in the series then do ensure that you check the description box because the link is shown on your screen and this link will also be provided in the description box if in case you are interested to join this series so do ensure that you like it uh, like our video share it with your friends and also ensure that you subscribe to our channel so thank you friends have a very nice day ahead and before saying thank you lastly one thing is that we also have a telegram channel where we have more than 15000 subscribers so you can join that channel the link of uh, uh, that channel will also be there in the, the description box so on that telegram channel we keep on posting various public resources for the purpose of csc preparation so if in case you are interested in getting access to those resources to which 15000 uh, other students are also getting access then you are more than welcome to join our telegram channel so this is all about today's video thank you have a very nice day ahead